Derek. Oh my god. Derek. What? Derek. What? We have to start the vlog I'm now. I'm reading Moby Dick. It's I... part of my writing process. I read it every day and I'm at this really riveting section. Funny you should mention writing processes because that's what we're talking about today. Do you have a calendar? A what? A calendar. I don't know what that is. Well, if you have a calendar, you would know that it is January 2018 and that's the perfect time to start hacking your routine to try to make it more... Uh, hacking? Yeah, hacking your like, routine. No, like oh, hacking, like, like, yeah, like hacking. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and making it more uh, doable for you this year to get yeah. all your goals accomplished. Cool. Hashtag goals. Well, I like to read Moby Dick every day before I start writing. Just um, from 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. I'll read Moby the entire book. You can finish the entire book in an hour and a half? Maybe you're just a really slow reader or something, but I huh. can read Moby Dick in probably 45 minutes if I don't have any distractions. That's what I was, when I said 90 minutes. That's like tweeting with and some like texting, eating, like I'm gonna call for my like mother. Like eating crackers and yeah, stuff. What's it's, your favorite part of Moby Dick? The best part is when they're on the ship. Do you have any certain things like rituals or mm -hmm. any kind of um, quirks that you have in your writing routine? Yeah, what do you do? yeah, I do. I love writing when I'm kind of like half asleep. Um, so I wake up at like 5 a.m. When I'm fully awake, I have that voice that's like, you suck, you'll never be a writer, you're the worst, like you're not good, nothing you do is good, you know that voice? If you wake up at five, that voice is not awake yet. Why does the critical brain sleep later? I don't know. It, like, I guess were they up partying? Not... Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. He was he party. was up all night worrying. So like, but... if you ever have to have surgery and they're gonna put you under, you're gonna yeah. like have the notebook and be like, just give me five minutes and you're gonna like <laughs> yeah. start like uh, before the anesthetic. So that's that that'll be like your awesome. your great My American pro... novel yeah. will be written like in absolutely the, in, in like the, a in the like... OR. So basically, like a medicated coma is your ideal writing state. <laughs> is that what you're yeah. saying? Yeah, I prefer to call it a meditative state, <laughs> but you know, you medicated, meditative, you know, kind of similar. I live in Brooklyn, so there's a lot of cafes and coffee shops. They get very sceny, um, and there's a lot of, I think they're mostly coders. There's just a lot of intensity going on. Mm -hmm. And I can't write in these places. I, I have to have more control of my environment and everyone throws me off. But I will take notes, and I only use a certain kind of notebook. It's really, this is really nerdy, but it's like, um, it's called Postalco. They're a Japanese company. They make mm -hmm. this stationery. The cover is fabric, but the oh. inside is like, um, it's like graph paper almost, mm -hmm. and I like to use these notebooks to, to take notes and outline if I'm going to do that, a book. And I'm very physical on the way the pen writes on this particular kind of paper, the way the ink smells and it bleeds huh. onto the paper. It it's, inspires you. It's just, it's a great process. They're very hard to find. What if Postalco closed tomorrow and they were like, we're no longer making any more notebooks. Sorry, Derek, we're out of business. What would you do? I would go to dental school. <laughs> <laughs> All this hard work is great, but it's important to take breaks too, right? Uh, breaks are important. Yeah. So what do you do on your breaks? Um, on my breaks, I always try to either... Maybe you're half asleep already, right? Yeah, so <laughs> just go like back fall to... back asleep. I just I go into my kitchen and I get a can of whipped cream and I've talked about this on Twitter and I just do a little shot of it. And then it gives you, you do? Like, it's like this. I mean, like, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go right the Do you like keep it in your mouth like that for a while or? Like that a little bit. <laughs> okay. Does that look okay? It looks normal. Yeah, you wanna try? Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe. So like pretend you're bit. like half asleep Okay, so I'm asleep and then I'm like, ah, oh, I'm so, I need a break, I need a break. I'm gonna go to the kitchen. Yeah, so you go to so the kitchen and you put your head you... back and, and you just <gasps> cut. <laughs> Dude, it's really a case of <laughs> That's weird. That's way more than necessary. <laughs> but now write, now write something. That's good though. <laughs> It's pretty good. Um, if you need any more, you know, advice about how to take a writing break or how to improve your process, just tweet us with the hashtag really famous writers. I'm at Lindsay Champion. I'm at Derek Millman. Oh, f <laughs> in your eye. <laughs> Did I hurt you? No, you didn't hurt me. Was it in your eye? Is it in my eye? <laughs> what do you think? Is it in my eye? <laughs> <laughs>